All right, guess what today is? Another mail call video, but that's okay because I love them and I know you love them. We all love hearing from Matthew Hoover, Mr. CRS. And also guess what guys? Guess who's gonna be released from prison soon? Christopher Justin Boyer Irvin. I am so excited for him. I'm so happy for him. He's been in there for way too long and in most of his time he spent in county. So he didn't, it, it's all crazy guys, but he is getting released really soon and then he'll be going to a halfway house and then hopefully home confinement and then three years of probation. But I'm just excited for him to finally be getting out because he's been in there way too long. I mean, they shouldn't even be in there in the first place. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Still with appeals, not much new. I gotta give it a call to see what's going on. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be another mail call video. So let's get into it. So I got a really good question from a viewer named Randis. Randis, I'm really sorry if I am botching your name. You're from Illinois. I'm so sorry that you live there because Illinois sucks. But Randis, um, he asked, how could the shooter possibly miss Trump at that range? So how did you miss a shot with a rifle that most beginners have no problems hitting? Before we get into it, viewers, let's be clear. He isn't attacking the question like he wishes that he would have made the shot. He's asking like, how did this happen in the first place and how did it fuck it up that bad to miss? Like I'm sure that Oswell is rolling over in his grave right now. To start, I don't wanna go into how he was able to get into the position in the first place because yeah, because of the implications behind all of this. What I will say is if it comes out that dude had a supermodel girlfriend who just happened to work for the CIA, I wouldn't be surprised at all. I would make it make a little bit of sense. For starters, why that rooftop? But before we get into a little bit more detail, if you'd like to help support this channel, you need to get some badass merch at OnlyTacticalFans.MyShopify.com where I've got a whole bunch of new merch and awesome shirts now. I'm so excited about it, you guys. So yeah, don't forget to pick some up at OnlyTacticalFans.MyShopify.com. All right, let's get back to it. For starters, why that rooftop? What I mean by that is, if he is just some crazy guy that picked a random ass spot, why wouldn't he pick one that was closer with a better line of shot? Yeah, we know there was snipers up on the rooftop, but how could he have known? So, he just accidentally picks the only rooftop that didn't have a sniper on it? Understand that if this question has already been answered, I'm in prison and I had no knowledge of it. But the roof he uh, chose wasn't even 800 yards away. Clearly within the bubble of Trump's protection, so why not go to an even closer rooftop? And then there's the fact that there wasn't any snipers on that rooftop when it gave a perfect line of sight of, on Trump. It makes me scratch my head. He was up there with a fucking rifle and no sniper spotted him. And if they did, they chose not to take him out until he discharged his weapon. I get there are likely explanations for all of this, but it seems like a bunch of unlikely consequences that allowed all of this to happen. But it's been my experience that the easiest answer is usually the correct one. Using my case as an example, the prosecutor made up this massive conspiracy theory with so many moving parts to explain how I knowingly broke the law, but the simple answer is I didn't knowingly break the law. I'm sure I was obeying it. And the simple answer to explain the Trump shooting is that this dude had some help, meaning someone told him exactly where to go and when to be there, period. I agree. So how did he miss a shot that is comparable in skill level to a two foot put pulling your car into the garage or corner camping on a call of duty while using uh, aimbot? First, we need to start with the rifle. 130 meters is just a a far enough distance if he sets his zero at 36 yards, but never took it out of range to confirm the wide age, the wind age. It very well could have been off just enough to miss and evaluation of the shot was good, but the wind age was off just enough to suggest an unconfirmed 36 yard zero. Okay, let's say the zero was good. I didn't hear a report that said that Right before he made the shot, a cop had come up there to see what he was doing. He spun around, pointed his gun at, at the cop, and the cop dropped back down ladder. Then he took a snapshot at Trump, aka he rushed the shot. And yeah, even the 130M is a short distance for a rifle. A rush shot can easily become a missed shot. Let's say the cop was fake news. 
you still need to think about the adrenaline factor and that and that will make some of the most seasoned shooters miss even the easiest of shots. When the adrenaline kicks in, it feels like you have winter gloves on, you can't cannot think straight and nothing goes your way. I've only felt it while deer hunting and it caused me to miss shots I could have made 100% any other day. And yet, I'm left thinking, how did I miss? That shot was so easy. And keep in mind, that's just in hunt deer hunting. This dude was taking a shot at a guy being filmed in high definition on live TV with millions of people watching. He hated this guy so bad that he was willing to put his life on the line just to see him dead. That's fucked up and crazy. <laughs> That's really crazy. I bet he was sweating profusely. His pulse was through the roof and that he was sitting shitting bricks. And all this was just enough for him to pull his shot and miss. It looks like this. That was an easy ass shot to make. Most of us would have been able to stack rounds in his eyeball at that range with just about any rifle except maybe the AK-47. F that gun, by the way. Ha ha. <laughs> by the grace of God, he missed the shot. It doesn't matter if you like Trump or not. If he would have died, the country w would look very different right about now. I have no doubt in my mind at best, and I do mean at best that we would have riots happening everywhere at this very moment. Yeah, I think it would have gotten crazy, for sure. So let's all take a moment to thank whoever you pray to that something went wrong, because damn, that would have been a tipping point for a lot of people on both sides, and I think life would have never been the same again. Anyway, thank you, Randoms from Illinois, from the bomb ass question, and thanks to all of you who support my channel. If you have any questions like today's video, please send them in, and I will respond to everyone. Yeah, so let me guys let me know what you guys think and your opinions is. I would love to hear them, and I know Matthew would love to hear them too, because I'm really curious. Because it's like, how did that happen? Like. I, I don't know. It's a headache thinking about it. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys would like to continue to support this channel, there'll be links down in the description. So there's like Patreon, Gifts and Go, um, there's Amazon. And even when you click on the box for Amazon, if you don't buy what's in my wish list or not wish list, but whatever the hell it's called, just because you came there from my channel, I get a kickback. So I greatly appreciate that. And obviously the best store online, which is only technical fans at myshopify.com. And until next video, guys, and I appreciate all of your love and support as always, and I wish I could meet every single one of you, but I can't. So, yeah, thank you guys so much, and I appreciate you, and peace. <laughs>